Cork lined out against Limerick without their inspirational wing-back Sean O'Gohalpine. He lay in hospital after a car crash in the week of the match. He missed one of the games of the year. Cut in here well. In towards Jodine, looking for the opening score. Back it comes towards Jerry O'Connor. Broken down by Shorty McGrath. Alan Brown's about as well. Here comes McGrath once again. Stopped by Timmy Hula. They're all in after him and it's gone wide. And Hulahan did well to repel the Limerick advance. Beyond Ollie Moran this time. Here comes Mark Keane. He's got Moran outside him. Looking for point number one for the afternoon. That is on its way and it's gone over the bar. And Limerick lead this game. Ollie Moran from Ahan. Straight through the centre once again. This time it is James Moran from Ahan who's chasing after it. Mark Landers getting there first. Now, Pat Ryan. A snapshot and he's put it over the bar and the teams are level. Pressure on the half-back line. John Brown there to sail over his head. Into the big man. Brian Begley. Dear Mudo Sullivan is after him. Begley still advancing. Had a goal chance. He's got a point instead and Limerick have taken the lead again. Brian Begley who plays for Mungret. Limerick lead. Limerick playing with the breeze, such as it is in the first 35 minutes. Ollie Moran, inside, beautifully caught there. James Butler, I got on a point last year, getting by. John Brown, and oh, that's gone in, and it's a goal for Limerick. It came straight out again, but the umpires were perfectly positioned to see. It had crossed over the line, in off the back stanchion. He's got two goals in two games. Tony McCarthy tussling here with Mike O'Brien. O'Brien for Limerick. Good catch. Ollie Moran blocked down by Mulcahy. Good play. But it's still Moran. Everybody after him. Nobody able to get a decent challenge in. He struck it well and he's got it over the bar. Ollie Moran from Ahan. And it's 1 9 to 6 points. Kieran Carey coming again. High up into the air. The man with loads of championship experience. It's his 26th championship match. Shawnee McGrath inside towards Jerry O'Connor. Twin of Ben, of course. And he's put it over the bar in Ben like fashion. Down towards Brian Begley. Holding on to it. Doing well against Dermot O'Sullivan, and he's put it over the bar. That's two points now for Brian Begley. And it's 110 to 7 points. Limerick lead by 6. Here comes Clem Smith. Kieran Carey leaving it there for James Moran. Up towards his brother Ali. Score of two fine points in the first half. Dermot O'Sullivan here. Coming out like a tank. Lifting the crowd. And he's put it over the bar. What an amazing point by the fullback. If that doesn't let Park Nathan will, he can throw like a JCB and he showed it out on his way. A fantastic score. When he comes out, will you hit him with a shoulder? You better hit him properly. Sun in the eyes of Kieran Carey. He bats it down, getting good support from the wing backs. Now breaking through is Alan Brown. Cork might get a goal here. Brown hitting it and he's put it in the net. Four minutes into the second half. Brown got the latitude to go by Kieran Carey and it's 110 to 18. Brown going towards his left, striking it on the ground in past Hulahan and Cork are right back in it. Here comes Ben O'Connor. Wouldn't come up for him. Second time of asking, gets it, swings it in and puts it over the bar. It's some match. So Neil Ronan in the court team, as we said. This is Ben O'Connor. Well, he's looking for two in a row. And he'll get it, you know. That's over the bar. Two points for Ben O'Connor, the court captain. Up towards centre half forward. But it comes back to Mark Landers. Brilliant work rate by Landers. Goes deep on occasions to mop up around about half back. Alan Brown. 
Brown got the goal for Cork early stage of the second half has got another score here he's put this one over the bar and now there is the minimum between the teams in by Landers towards Sonny McGrath drop down there Joe Dean here's an opportunity it's over the bar and the teams are level for the second time 113 to 113 Limerick have it back again it's Mark Foley pursued by Neil Ronan Still going forward, has support outside here in the figure of James Butler. A chance to go through, he's fouled by Brian Corcoran. Corcoran a little bit cut for pace, and it's a free in. And this is where Limerick should lead once again. And once more, Paul O'Grady. He's a very fine striker of the ball. Limerick have taken the lead. They lead by a point, 115 to 114. Now the pressure on Tom Cashman and the rest of the Cork selectors. Inside towards Sonny McGrath. Mark Foley has been given a tight rein on him. Here he is again. Foley. The other Foley, Barry Foley, trying to hold on to it. Instead, it is Derek Barrett. About six, seven minutes to go. Once again, it's Mark Landers. Oh, it's an outrageous shot. And it's over the bar. And the teams are level once again. Mark Landers, two points from four shots that is amazing what a game TJ Ryan trying to keep it away teams are level 18 points apiece minus a boot gets it into Jack Foley every attack so vital now under five minutes to play there was no injury time at the end of the first half there'll hardly be much here either there's a stick broken down there the stick of Owen O'Neill as he got that ball got a block to it as Wayne Sherlock was trying to make the clearance. Barry Foley here, Ger, he's quite capable of putting this over. He'll go for this if he's able. Go for both. It'll put Limerick in front again. He's gone for it. He's got it. Yeah, he's good at them, Ger. You can hear the cheers in Patrick's well. And their fans are on their feet. Limerick lead, but still about four minutes to go. This was a beautifully executed stroke. Limerick inspired at this stage. Outside to Mark Foley. Foley going forward, the referee looks at his watch once again. It's all over and Limerick have won. It's a huge win for the Shannon Siders. Limerick fans have come to Porky Quay and they have beaten the Rebels by a solitary point. They jump for two. It's a day this young man will always remember and some of the others will remember it as well. Eamon Cregan has taken his side through to the semi-final of the Guinness Monster Hurling Championship. His team has done them proud. Cork are out of the championship. Where did this ferocious determination out there today come from? The media, every one of them wrote us off. There was a statement in the Cork Examiner last Saturday or last Friday that there are four men on the Limerick team that would be afraid to go into a dark room. There's the answer today to those, those four men gave and, to those. And you're that hurt by those remarks? I so, certainly am hurt, and the players were more hurt. And they're the ones who, who were insulted this week, and they proved today that they have the ability to...